Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to City Skylines. The water is just rushing off down there towards the lake, just filling back up again after our disaster with the dam that we had up here. So apparently what was happening was that the water was backing up here and then it was running off down this tributary here and so we weren't able to do anything about it and utilize the dam. And I have since gone and investigated dams and learned a little bit more about them and this is not really a suitable place for putting one. We, we don't really have anywhere that it's going to work very well. What we want to do is put, potentially put one up here and then we might be able to make it work but I'm not really sure. So our main issue, the reason that we were building a dam was because we were running out of power. And the reason that we were running out of power is because our power stations up here weren't getting deliveries in time. We need the deliveries coming off of the roundabout down here in order to be able to keep things moving. Now, uh, um, we, we've got a, a few issues at the moment. At the moment, we've got a road here that comes into the city but this is the only access point that we've got into the city there is no other route in or out it's all on this one spot so we're going to have to work on that today we're going to try and um figure out what to do about that we're also going to need to do the power situation um and like get better access so we've got a road over here we've got another motorway over here now and it, it, it looks like it connects up down the bottom and it does connect up over here. So I'm thinking that we could like take a, a, a point here and we could join in. We could come into the city up here and we could also do another join into the city down here. So we've got three points of access coming into the city, which is going to be a lot better than just one. And maybe we could even have like a, a run that goes right the way through. I'm not really sure about that, but I'm thinking that an access point here and here and one up there as well all joining into the city together would be really good. But the other thing that I was told is that apparently traffic lights are not very good in this game. You know, it would seem like traffic lights would be pretty good. What's that noise? Oh, I thought that the noise was something to do with the, the water, but the water's all the way over here. It seems quite high at the moment, this river. The, the river does definitely... It, it seems quite high. It's because the water is still kind of... Uh, going back towards its previous equilibrium that it had with the surrounding countryside. So anyway, the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to there, and then I want to uh, uh, junctions like that, and I actually want to take that off, and I think I want to put... I'm not sure if I want to put stop signs. I, d I don't know if I'm supposed to have stop signs everywhere or not. I think I need stop signs there, but I don't want a stop sign there. I want that one to be able to go... And I want a stop sign there coming out. So I don't have stop signs going into the city. I only have stop signs coming out of the city. I don't want traffic lights. Apparently traffic lights are really, really bad. Um, and I don't know why this would be. I'm, I'm not quite sure why traffic lights are so terrible. So we'll put a stop sign over there. And we'll put one here. Like this, and then the the traffic will move up and down that way faster. So it's going to come out of the city here. And it should now... See, now it's all flowing into the city beautifully. We've got no issues there at all, so I want to turn this one off as well. And I've got a stop sign coming out this way, and I've got a stop sign this way. But then moving straight up and down here, the traffic is just flowing. Isn't it? Seems to be. So... Now we can go over this way here. These landfills are full. I'm going to have to deal with those. I've got stop signs there. Turn off traffic lights. Just turn off traffic lights, apparently. You don't want to have traffic lights. I don't, I, I really don't, I don't really understand why, but um, this is what I was told. Traffic lights are evil. As far as this game is concerned, traffic lights are about the worst thing you can have. Now, whether this is still the case, I, I, I'm not sure. It may have been an old... Um, forum that I read this on so but I will get rid of several of them if I if I get rid of a few of these traffic lights like this hopefully that will help things keep moving along a little bit more smoothly we've got a fire over here there was another thing that I had I need to get rid of that now um, power situation how are we doing with power we've now got 316 megawatts and we need 224 the other thing that we've got with power is we've got all of these power stations over here. Uh, I'm going to take that one off a minute. We've got that. We've got an incineration plant in use. Eight of 27 garbage trucks. 
This one over here is 13 of 27. We've got 3 of 27 there. And if we look at the garbage overlay right here, landfill usage 100%. Um, garbage production 217, processing capacity 240. Apparently, this is not very intuitive. It doesn't, like, it prioritizes going to landfill first, and then it goes into the incineration plant. So, um, some of the advice for this one is actually don't have, um, landfill at all. No landfill. Remove the landfill from your entire process. So what I want to do here is I actually want to go empty building to another facility. And building is set to empty its content. And then I want to go to that one as well. And I also want to set this one to empty. Garbage trucks in use. So I'm, I'm going to set that one to being emptied. Multiple problems. Building is emptying. Set to empty its content and therefore is not working. These should then flow into all of the incineration plants. We've got various incineration plants. So if I can have all of the incineration plants working, like this, it's costing me 1400 a week to keep those running. Um, that, that might help. We can empty those out and get them into the incineration plants. So we have a look at the power situation. Power seems to be all right now. And then we look at water. Now, I got a bit of a lack of water here, but water consumption is 300. Uh, sewage is all right, but I need more water. I need to get more water coming in. So if I quickly build another pumping station over here, and I'm literally going to drop that one right next to this one here, I think. We're going to put the two of them together. Put that one in there like that. Let me zoom in a little bit. And I need to get a pipe on there like that. Space already occupied. I can't join it up there. I can do that, though. Is that going to work? There we go. Right. I now have 420,000 a week. So you don't have to upgrade the pipes for higher capacity or anything like that. They just all work automatically, which is absolutely wonderful. I, I, I like the fact that they all work. It's, it's, it's very wonderful. It's very awesome. It's very amazing. Now... Traffic is now, traffic is coming into the city really well and it's flowing quite nicely and it's also flowing out of the city fairly well. The only major issue we've got at the moment is this junction here. It's causing us a little bit of a problem, but it's not like a, it's not like a major issue. And if I look at that, we'll have a look there. So we've got, we do have some traffic issues here, but that, well, I don't know if that's, no, it's nothing to do with those two. Um... How can I make this work a little bit better? If I go to this one here, and we've got routes there. That's public transport there. I'm not going to worry about public transport. We'll, we'll, we'll ignore that. Junctions. Right, so i got a stop sign from there, and i got a stop sign from that side, but I don't have a stop sign here. So, in theory, these should just be able to go anywhere they want to. And this one here, I want to put a stop sign from that direction, but not along this road down here, I think. Is that going to help the situation? The problem is, it's all backed up in here quite a lot. Look, um, it, the entire thing is choked all the way in through, and it's not helping matters at all. That can keep running there. This one comes out, and he's inching out, and he's, he's sort of getting a bit stuck here. It's going up. It seems to be working a little bit better. Having introduced that stop sign there. I'll put a stop sign on that side. So hopefully the traffic up... Well, actually, it makes no difference. It's going to prioritise traffic up there if I put a stop sign in there. Is that going to help? It might help a little bit. The, the main issue is that we, we kind of got too much traffic going in and out of this area. I need to upgrade how we have the traffic running through here. And I think the best way to do that is if I upgrade this. If I put like a, a, a bigger route coming along this road up here. If this one up here becomes a bigger road and I remove those junctions there. All of those all the way along. I don't have any. I just have a main road going straight into the city over there. Gonna worry about that in a minute, though. I'm 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 a lot happier now with how these things are working out. I got 12 weeks of coal there, 11 weeks there. Um, that's an incineration plant. Oil up here for 10 weeks. So we've 
kind of dealt with that issue that we had going on there. I've got a few abandoned buildings, but they're not a major problem. Money is pouring in. We've got lots and lots of money now. So what I'd like to do is I want to get a junction up here, and I'm not really sure how to do this. I'm going to just pause the game a second now, and we're going to take a look at what sort of junctions that we can do. If I, I can bring this in here, and that is that that's not what we want at all. We've got this one here, which is a cloverleaf, but that requires... There, I could put that in, but that like that's uh, two. I don't really want that. This one here, the three-way intersection, this is the one that we want. We want to put that one down there, so that they can they like they, they can get off that main road and onto this one. Uh, slope too steep. Why is the slope too steep? Shouldn't be. Should just be able to plonk it right down there. Is where I want to put it. Now I'm not really sure. Why it won't let me just superimpose it down on top of that. That's, um, I think what I need to do is I, I need to actually get rid of this road first. So I've got to do that. So if I remove that road like that, then I put this one in. Now, there was a, there's a way to... This is, this is the issue that I have. There's a way to rotate these, and I don't remember what it is. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's not shift. Okay, I definitely didn't want to do that. Really? I've got to remove the entire thing all at once. It, it doesn't, like, do the whole thing all together. I've, I've got to remove it little piece by little piece. Um, I don't know what that is. So we want to go back to this. And it, it, it's... it's How do I rotate a road construction... See, it, it, it won't rotate. It's What's the good of having it at that angle? And why can't I just drop this down on top of another road that's already there? That would be a lot better. That, that would uh, that would work. Right, R doesn't do it. And Q and E don't do it. Uh, let, let me have a look. Well, that's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. It's simply press and hold the right mouse button. Like that. There. Right click. And... It won't let me put it down. Anyway, I need to put this one over here. So let me get rid of two more bits like that. And then maybe we can fit it in. There, now I can fit that one in. So I just need to rotate it round a little bit. You can freeform rotate it like that. There, isn't that beautiful? And it will snap fit as well. I can, I can, I can use the snap on fit. So if I go to there like that and then i want to so what have i got on here i got three lane highway here and that is does it say which way it's going well yeah it yeah it's going the right way okay so i want to go large roads there i got highway uh this is highway ramp no highway there three lane one way highway road Right, so I go to there, and then I go to there, so I can join that up. It's it's not beautiful. There is a little bit of a kink in it there, but as far as I'm concerned, that's that's just fine. So I want to go from there to there like that, and then I want to go from there to there like that to join that one back in. So I've now got the off ramp for my highway, and we've got um, we've got on ramps and off ramps for the whole thing. Now, I've got three-lane highway there. Do I want to bring three-lane highway all the way over here, or do I want to kind of run it down? I think, really, we kind of want... Can I can I fit a roundabout over here? This, this would be the next thing. If I go to a small roundabout right there, is that going to fit? Is this going to do what I want it to do? I, I mean, really, I wanted to bring it over this side. Um, let's zoom out a bit. I've got an off-ramp there. I can put another off-ramp over here. We'll put that one in a little bit. So if I bring this one here and I put a bridge across the river, we can put something across to there. And that will be kind of where we want to put it. So, yep, rotate. Just uh, right mouse click. Right mouse click. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's, it's, it'd make me weep. It really would. It, it, it's genuinely making me weep with joy. Um, right, space already occupied. So let me just get rid of that a second. Cool. <laughs> okay. Um, no, I want to go to that one there. I've got an elementary school there. Now, this is relocate building and open a budget panel. So, I want to relocate you so that I can get to that road right there. So, all I want to do is just move this one along a little bit just this way. 
dump you down there like that. Why so miserable? Why so miserable? I don't know. I'm going to ignore them. They're, 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 being, they're just being a little bit uh, melodramatic, that's all. So let's uh, freeform that around there a bit, and then that will snap onto there. I kind of want to bring it about there, I think. Is that where I want it? Is that that will then go into that side, and then I get another one out the other way? Yes. I'm going to put that one down there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for highway. I'm going to put highway going into there. Now I got highway going in and I got highway coming out. So I want that one from there right the way across to that point about there. I'm going to actually move it this way a little bit like that there. And then if I just remove that one, and then I will take the bulldozer, and I will remove that road and that road. Then th I'll also remove that one as well. We we're going to build another road over here. I'll do that one now. We'll go with that, and we'll go with the tree-lined avenue. And that one's going to come out of that corner there, so it goes into this forestry area. It's going to go straight out there, and it's going to go across there into the roundabout, just like that. So we've got a two-way going into the roundabout there. And the next bit that I wanted to do, actually, was I want to upgrade there. I want to upgrade this to highway around here, just like that. Um, just to make that a little bit bigger. And then we've got this one that comes in. It's kind of like the end of this road here. Figure this a uh, slightly better way of doing that. So then that one can come into there. Actually, how, that's, that's not going to work very well, is it? Let's ignore that for a minute. Because I got a well, I got another one here that needs to come off of there. I need to bring that one out this way. Oh, I see. Right. I need to. I need to kind of bring it back to there, to that point, and I want to go there like that. So then this one here, this one needs to go into. Why wouldn't it go in? Uh, I'm not quite sure why I can't get that to move in. Okay, new plan. Let's get rid of that a minute, like that, and then I'll downgrade this road back to where it was, which was on this one. So I do that. Downgrade. That road like that. So we'll start with this, and then we'll bring in the highway. Like this. And I want to go with you. I actually want to go for a curved road here. So it wants to go about here, I think. And then... Oh, no. I've done that wrong. You want to bring it to there, and then I want to curve it round. Why won't it go into there? Why can't I... Why can't I put it in? To just... Just that little bit. Right. New plan. Get rid of all of this. And we'll, we'll start again with another roundabout. We're going to take a, a large roundabout instead. Except I don't think the large roundabout is actually going to fit. Doesn't matter what I do here, I don't think. I don't think that one is going to fit very well. No. All right, so scrap that idea. We'll go for the small roundabout that we did originally plan to have. And we'll put that one in there. Like that. I'll put that one there. Like that. And then I will take highway here. It's going to go... Oh, hang on. No, I want to do straight road there. Right. That can go into there like that, so I do actually have some highway there. That's, that is working. That that will come that will come into there. So then I can take another piece of highway here, and I can bring that out like that, and then I can run this one. Just looking at the different bridges that we could potentially do. Is it like oh, it does, you you can have a curved bridge as well. That is very cool. Right, it doesn't quite fit there. I got to bring it back over this way so that I've got two bridges together. Oh, if you have two pylons, one pylon is actually a cheaper bridge. I see. Right, well, I want to bring that one over fairly close like that, and then it's got to join on there. So that is in and out of the city now with two sets of bridges right there. 
Then I can go to this one and I can upgrade this road all the way around here like this. There. And then I can take my bulldozer and remove that one and that one. And I'm also going to remove that one there because I want that to be a bigger road. So then I will go to... Well, first of all, I'm going to go to that one. And we go to the tree-lined avenue. And I'll go like that. And that one's just going to go straight in there like that. So we've got a straight line moving in there. And that's like access to that industrial zone there. The big area that we want to kind of bring access to is this one here. So I'm going to do the four-lane highway. Uh, that one there is just going to go in like that. And it's going to be a simple junction coming in there. Now, as this is a small residential area, I'm going to remove a section of road from here. But the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to rebuild this. And it's going to go back up to there. It's not going to join in. I'm going to go back a tiny bit and I'm just going to stop there. It's not one way or anything, is it? No. I'm just going to stop it there. I'm not going to do any more. And then I can go into here and I'll turn that into... It's all residential there, isn't it? Yeah, and that one as well. We lost the residential status on some of those. So we put the residential status back and everybody be happy. I've got residential status here. I do have a bus route that was going up through there. Which we're now going to have to reroute. So that's our next job that we want to do a minute. Uh, let's go to the buses like this. I was told that you can actually change the colour of the bus routes. Which makes it a lot easier. So if I go that one there. I've added a, a bus stop. If I, where can I move that? One goes up round there. If I got three stops, why is that on there? I, I don't understand what's going on with that one. Or is it not now forming a, a route? Let's have a look. Uh, bus. Drag line to add stop. I can move the stop. I don't really want to move the stop there. If I move that stop over there, that'll make that a little bit better. It's actually now it's like completed that one. I don't need that stop at all there, do I? I don't know why I've got so many stops up there. They're coming up that road, turning round, and then they're going back the other way. I'm thinking that's actually going to be just fine like that anyway. I don't think it's going to be a major issue for them. We don't have anything on this side. I could always... Where's that one? That one's coming out there. It goes down here. So, yeah, rather than moving around that side... Oh, no, that one goes the other way. I've got one here. This this is the one here. Uh, so if I take that one there, it goes around there. Instead, I put this stop over here like this. Then I take that bus stop there and I drag that one up over that way. I take that stop there. I put that one there. And then I got one here. I kind of want to um, take out of the equation altogether. One over there. This one here could move up round like that. And then I can take that one there and I can move it to about there, I think. And then I can take that one and I can move that one on up a little bit further. And then this one here can go there. And I, know how, I don't have any bus stops down through there, admittedly, but I think that's going to work a little bit better. So there's none coming up into the cul-de-sac. I don't think we want a bus stop going into the cul-de-sac. So we can get rid of the transport overlay a minute. And that one's out. So now we've only got traffic sort of coming around those two directions there. I'm not sure how well this is going to work. Because i got so many stops on here. This this could end up working. At, this could be really bad. This, this could end up being really, really bad here. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what that means. What's that? Is that a junction? 
I don't know what... Is that meaning that it's not joined in properly? Let's, let's unpause it and see what happens. Take that one off. Now, we've got traffic coming this way. There's no traffic. Still no traffic. Have we got traffic coming through here? I got this highway that comes round. That comes round that way. But uh, nobody seems to want to use the highway at all. Why aren't you using my new highway? I've carefully built you a new highway. And why is there a bus going along there? There shouldn't be any buses in that route there at all now. You're coming through. You turn around. Yeah, it's cul-de-sac. No, nobody's <laughs> nobody's interested in coming in this part of the city at all. They haven't. I don't think they've realised that it's it's there. It's it's available to use. Uh, right. Well, that was a bit of a waste. I reckon it's something. To, I don't know what this is. I'm not sure what this bit here is. So if I, ooh, <gasps> I've, I've I've got traffic. They're out they, yeah, they're going out that way. Okay, so we got traffic coming through there. I'm going to remove that one and that one. I think that was the end. I've, I think that I've done that bit a little bit wrong there. So I want to bring that one and then that one goes to there. And that can do that. I don't know why it's got to be curved like that. That seems a little bit odd. But it's it's now connected in and I don't have any of those strange symbols there. So I'm assuming that I've now got the right um, bits on there. It's, in, it's all going to work. So we should now... Have people come from this side as well. They should come from up here. They can come off their ramp there. You know, come, come this way. We've got traffic here that's moving out of the city. So we've got one connection into the city from this side over here. The next connection I wanted to do was to come in there. And I also want it to come over to this side as well. And how was I going to do this? So I got a road that goes up along there that could go into the top end of the industrial district, which would be quite handy. Um, this one is emptying. We got 86% full, and that one is 90% full. These are busy working garbage reserves. 388,000 processing. 48,000 a week. Okay, we got plenty. The, the incineration plants seem to be dealing with it at the moment. Um, garbage production to 20, processing capacity to 40. I have no other processing facilities. I've, I'm literally it's incineration or nothing at all by the look of it. I don't have anything else available. Um, we don't have like a, like a big recycling plant or anything. We'll deal with that later. Did I have a unit? I didn't build a university yet. University was something that I was going to build, but I didn't actually get there yet. And it was um, something that I felt would be quite... Yes, we, we do not have a university. We want a university. We do not yet have one. Where are we going to build our university campus so that everybody can benefit from a wonderful education? I think this is a, a, a fine spot right here for an, a university education. We could put that down there. It's not going to be in the way of anything, I don't think. Yeah, you know, even as we expand. So we'll drop that one down there. University education for all. There we go. That is absolutely wonderful. Now, I said, I did last time, what I tried to do was I tried to instigate a, um, a new policy. Oh, I don't have any power either, do I? Um, let me bring water out this way. I'll do water like that, and I'll bring it over to there. And yeah, I know it's apparently wasting money to loop them, but I don't like having it not looped. Feels wrong. And I'm also going to go here. We need we need more of everything now, so I'm going to add in a um, couple of uh, domestic load residential zones. I'll add in a couple of residentials down there. We can't hear against this roundabout because it's a highway roundabout. But that's fine. There's people are coming off the, the highway. They're actually... Yeah, look. See? They're, they're coming off the highway and they're coming into our city through this back, back road down here. That's absolutely awesome. Coming in through the back entrance there. That is wonderful. Is what we want. And over here, garbage has piled up. This is not acceptable. Garbage is piling up everywhere. Right, well, if the garbage is piling up, that must mean that the, the garbage overlay... Let's, let's have a look at the garbage overlay a minute. Uh, landfill capacity, a garbage production 220 and 240. I'm, I'm emptying these both out. Why aren't they being used? The problem is, if I, do, if I enable them, 
They, they don't sort of they don't work very efficiently. Um, I'm going to put a, another road down here. I've, I've got an idea for this. I've been research as you, you may tell, but I have been researching this a little bit. I'm um, just like things that might be good and useful and help out with different things that we're doing on this game. Just just to try and help me a little bit. If I put that one there, I've put uh, hi. I didn't want to do that. Right. Um, I want to go to upgrade, and I want to upgrade that there and there. I don't want tree line stuff either. I just want plain, simple, like that. That's all I want. There. That's all I need. If I put that into that junction there, they can come out of there. And then I'll go here like this and junctions. And I'll make sure that that junction there is a... You take that off of the upgrade the road bit a minute because I need to go back to this. There. Um, right. Stop sign there coming out onto here. That's what we want. We need stop signs coming out onto the roundabout. The rest of it can just is free flowing. That's what we need. So I can remove that bit now. And then I can come up over here. Now I could build more of those or I could build more incineration plants. And apparently, if you can get rid of these and just have incineration plants, it's act it actually works better for your city. Um, I am going to end up, if I bring these down here, I've got kind of a um, noise and pollution issue coming on. If I, if I bring these all the way down here, we've got serious noise and pollution issues. I'm not sure I want to have that. Going into the agricultural zone as well. I can't really do much about it unless the only other option I've got really is I have an area over here for dealing with that. Um, if I was to put these over here and put them, like, right out over here somewhere. I, I could do that. I, I could bring them over. We can have, like, a whole area here for incineration plants. But it's a long way for the trucks to go to get into the city in order to process it. And I'm not sure if that's going to be too far or not. And I could put them over here. I Actually, uh, yeah, we, we could just do this. We could just put another road in here, look. And if I put that one there. And then I bring a road straight down there like that. And down to there. And I don't need any more than that. I could just do it like that. So then I go back to this one and I put incineration plants. That's going to be a little bit too close to this, um, the residential area on this side. In fact, I don't mind that. I can put up with that because we can just have a line of these all the way up here like this. You need more, more money. Wow, I've burned through that pretty quick. They are 30 grand a pop, so that, that would probably explain. If I delete this one, refund 22,500. Okay, I don't want to do that. But what I could do, if I get rid of that one a minute, and then I come out of this overlay now, I, and then literally just I'll have to just relocate each of them and do it like this. Um, there. That's going to move them away from the ones a bit further down. It costs six grand to relocate. You're kidding me, right? Oh, this is way too expensive. Okay, let's stop doing that. Relocation costs too much money. I, I, I don't want to do that. Press escape. There, let's try that. Right, uh, I'm going to press play a minute so that I can get some money back. I got those incineration plants there. I'm hoping that they are going to be able to go into the city. They're going to be able to help the situation a little bit. And... Oh, we have a, a water problem. Okay, well, we can we can deal with that. I can very, very quickly deal with that. I can just do that and not have enough money to make it connect up. Now I have enough money. There. They are now all joined up. I need to do one more lot of joined up down through here. I need to just connect that up so then I can... I don't know. Whether I make a bit more industrial or something down through. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that bit. We'll worry about that in a minute. I've got 700 at the moment. I'm going to bring that down there just to fill that in. It costs me 1,000 to fill that in. Bring that back to there. Okay. Right. I have $500 at the moment. $500 redos. The, I now have a big problem with these in that they're... <laughs> look at the traffic from the trucks. Okay, that is an awful lot of trucks that is going into and out of the town. It looks like I might actually be um, 
destroying my own town by having all these incineration plants here. This this could be a bit of an issue. Shouldn't be an issue. They should all just keep coming on round and not cause me any issues. It seems that actually does seem to be working. Right. Uh that's kind of well, that's one of the routes into town. I don't think I need to worry about having a stop sign here. Do I? Right, no, I don't have any stop signs there, but it's all of these coming up. They're all coming up through here. And this is causing me a bit of a problem. So now we want to have a look up here at the junctions. I've got the stop sign here. So, oh, no, that's the stop sign up there. Climbing the social ladder. I've just had the achievement unlocked. If I remove that, if I put a stop sign there and remove that one, are they just going to go right on through? Put that one up and stop that one. I remove that one. Will they then go through? They're not, though. They're just backed up and stopped, and they're not doing anything. This is not how it's supposed to be. I'm supposed to have them just um, flow really nicely right into the city without causing me any problems. I'm not really sure what I should be doing about this. Um, at least I'm, I'm still they're moving along quite nicely. So let's, let's, uh, let's get rid of that there. I'll go to this one here, and I'm going to relocate this one. Even though it costs six grand to relocate, I'm going to move that one up there like that. So he's out the way. There, that's better. I didn't realize it costs so much money to relocate. And maybe, just maybe, later on, we'll need to sort of move this around and have it in two stages. So this one is still emptying. It's 75% full now, and that one's 82%. So they should be emptying into all of these incineration plants. That's, that's kind of the plan that I've got going on here. Um, processing capacity, 528,000 units a week. So it's more than double of what we got. So we were able to process it. And landfill, I want to empty out, and then I can remove... Can, can I just, like, delete the landfill? Is that? Am I allowed to do that? Am I allowed to just... Building is not empty. Oh, no. Right, I see. I, was, I just suddenly thought, wait, well, can't I like, just have the, the landfill thing, and, and then I can just get rid of it? That would be a way to do it, but apparently it's not. We're not, we're not allowed to do that. Um, think again, Frith. You have to you have to think of something different. Traffic has eased up a bit now. We had all those lorries go out all at once into the city, and it seems to have eased the congestion a little bit now. And I've got garbage issues over there. The roundabout is still using over this way, and I'm just wondering. No, it doesn't. I was, I was just wondering if maybe, like, you could have the, the garbage going all the way around over here. So, what would be if I was to take half of the incineration plants that I've got up here, like, right in the industrial zone? We keep that little line down there, but then remove a whole load of these and relocate them right over this side of the city. And, I mean, right over here somewhere. And we've got a load of pollution down here anyway, so, like, this area here. Um, although I think that's like a good area for agriculture, isn't it? We've got a zoning here. Industrial specializations. We've got farming, ore, oil, and generic industry. Remove the specialization and select a district. Return a zone to generic industries. Does it tell me what's the best place? I mean, we've got landscaping here. I can, with the landscaping tools, you can tweak the terrain under your city. The land must be free of structures. So I can, what I could do is, in theory, I could, like, raise some of the river up over here in my city. I don't know if I can do this out of the city. Let me try all the way over here. Out of city limits. I could raise, like, the, the, the river up a little bit in order to make a better thing for a dam. I don't know if that would work. Probably not a good idea to try and do something like that. Hmm. We'll leave. Let's, let's, let's not play with terraforming. Um, so where would I be able to do it? I mean, that's forest. It's obviously forestry area that we got up there. And then there was this bit down here. I think that's the yellow. I think the yellow zones are agriculture. They're like prime agricultural land. Whether we want to get some more agricultural land. We don't really want to put landfill stuff going too close over here. Or incineration plants or anything like that. I didn't want to pollute that, so I'm kind of thinking that this area here would be a good spot for it, which means that we want to go back to our idea previously. We need to remove some of this road here, 
and then we want to bring it over and connect into the city over here. Then I can move some of the incineration plants over to this side of the river, keep them over there, out the way. And I'm hoping that that would kind of help the whole situation with everything, like, flowing freely. We're up to eight grand at the moment, getting 110 new people per week. These two are empty. We want to get rid of with these. We do want to empty out completely. Once they're gone, then we're only going to go for incineration plants. This was the recommendation that I read. So I can't remember where I read it. It was on. I think it was on Reddit. Actually, I read it on Reddit. Um, now, our university. How are we doing? Two thousand seven hundred students out of a potential four and a half thousand. University provides higher education in a huge area. Right, that one's doing absolutely wonderful. I'm going to go back to the education overlay a minute. We're going to have a look around. So, university is doing well. We've got university-educated people, which is going to help the, um, the districts a bit later on. Eligible 3,500, capacity 2,000. We could do with some more high schools. Elementary, 1,200 and 1,500. So, at high schools, we are limited. We've only got two over here. We need another high school. We have to have another high school. We've got no choice on this one. No choice whatsoever. Uh, I don't... 75 grand?! My oh, high school. I, I want a high school, not a um a university. So I bring that one over to there. Let me see how far up I can put that one. I put that one right next to that house there, and we drop that one in there. So I now have another high school. I have a capacity of two thousand. Is that capacity going to change? Three thousand eligible. Three thousand three hundred. I need another one as well. So high school. I figure that having high school is quite important. Um, even, I, I've been warned against over-educating my population. People, I, I was warned that I shouldn't try to over-educate the population or I'm going to have a load of, like, mundane jobs that nobody wants to do anymore. And that could be a problem. So I'm going to leave the high school situation as it is. I'm not, I'm not going to change it again. I'm just going to go into here and we'll remove those two dead buildings. So that will hopefully improve the situation a bit there. I've got a lack of workers up there. Um, we need more of everything. You can see there that that's the demand for the different buildings. So we'll worry about that a little bit later. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, I've kind of run out of time. We've got uh, we've got all of the, the waste that we're doing up here, which is it's great. That's, that's working really well. And we've got our new road coming in here. I'm very pleased with our new road that's coming in here. This one is absolutely awesome. And then once we... So we, we've got that bit dealt with. We need another one that we're going to get over there somewhere so that we can deal with the incineration plants. But we're going to do that next time. I figure that we've probably done enough this time. A new entrance into the city and a university. And we're sort of slowly starting to deal with all the various different issues that are springing up. And I think we're getting on top of this. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.